the last thing we're going to do is uh, this this bonus demo we talked about, and because um, I'm using 2013, I can show you one of the new tools we've got called the Geometry Validator uh, Transformer. Right. So I'm going to add a reader. So what we're going to look at is validation of data and how we can validate CAD data and GIS data as we're translating it. And again, we're going to be using um, different um, transformers to achieve that. Yeah, because so. one of the big uses of FME is, is um, also determining the quality of your data, so QA. So this transformer Mark's going to show is all about performing QA on the geometry, hence the name Geometry Validator. Yes. So I'm going to put this transformer, the geometry validator, and let me see. We're going to look at the distribution lines, which is this one. And we've got all sorts of issues we can detect. We can um, pick different, um, let's resize that dialog a bit. So we can pick all of these different issues that we can detect, like is it self-intersecting, have we got duplicate points, have we got null geometry parts. Uh, is it a solid that's invalid? Um, all sorts of things like that. So I'm just going to pick those. And I can choose whether to repair them or not as well. So I, in this case I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to connect um, what I call inspectors to that transformer. And inspectors just takes the data that comes out of there and pushes it directly into the FME viewer or data inspector. <laughs> So I'm going to run this, and most of my data is going to pass, I hope, but I'm hoping there's a couple of failures in there because we want to um, see where they are. So most of it passed, but we have a couple of failures, and one of them is down here, and we can see, well, okay, after me repaired it, and the problem it repaired was it was self-intersecting, and I can see that by looking at this little tag we add on to say what the problem was. And in fact, we even give the XY coordinate of that so you mm -hmm. can see where the intersection occurred. And you could go back to the original data and check that. Yeah. So that's the sort of validation thing we can do uh, with FME. And we can fix, fix them with all sorts of transformers that we've got. Um, there's a snapper transformer. There's a clipper transformer to clip things um, to, a, to a set boundary. Uh, there's an intersector transformer to intersect lines. Um, there's all sorts of different things we can do with that spatial data uh, within FME. And again, the nice thing is, is it's happening as you're translating from one format to another. You're doing that uh, fixing and checking uh, all at the same time. Yeah, we also have things like a topology transformer, That's topology right. builder, to, and again, all these things. Um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've got, how many transformers is it now, Don? Uh, oh, there you go, it says 428 different transformers. So, um, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So. Okay, so that was um, validating data in Workbench.